What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. Well, it is Saturday. And it's actually the first camp out of 2023. When this video comes out, I'm probably headed that way as we speak. And to test out all the new goodies to make sure it all is going to work all summer, all year. Um, I highly doubt of any issues, foreseeable issues. I've actually already got the truck loaded today. It's Thursday. I've already got the truck loaded of gear. The only thing not in the truck is clothes and food. Uh, of course, that goes in the back back here. So I'll load that Saturday. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go up there and take my time. Oh, where am I going? I'm going to Montgomery Bell State Park. Um, I have not been to Montgomery Bell since, I was trying to think, it's probably the late 80s when I was still in scouting, uh, and was a Boy Scout at the time. So, it's been a minute since I've been there. Kind of like the Smokies, you know. Uh, as far as camping in the Smokies, it was uh, early 80s or late 80s when I went there camping for the first time. Uh, and I want to get back there. I'd like, to, I'd like to hope to do that this year, too. But, reminder, YouTuber Meetup, May 12th through the 14th at Big Ridge State Park. Probably a little trailer running right about now. Remember, I won't be there until Saturday, but I will be extending my stay. But not sure that I'm going to be staying at Big Ridge on Sunday night yet. I may get up Saturday, Sunday morning after we've hung out a little bit or whatever with everybody. And we may take off north going towards Daniel Boone. I still want to camp up northern part of uh, north. <laughs> it's hard to say. Let's uh, try southeastern Kentucky. So. I want to do that, and I may end up doing that. I don't know yet for sure. There's a couple different things I'm plan uh, thinking about. Um, I've even thought about exploring around Big Ridge itself, um, the area around there, because there's another state park right down the road from it. There's another state park that's north of it called Indian Mound. So what I may do is just spend all day Sunday exploring and just end up at Indian Mound for the night, camp. Um, I haven't decided if I want to camp any more like Monday night and then come back Tuesday. If I do, I may go up to Daniel Boone and camp there, then come back. So I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I look forward to testing out all the new gear this weekend. I can't wait to pop that gazelle up and sleep a night in it. You know, and thinking about it, the differences between the gazelle tent and my other tent that I've been using for the last three, almost four years, uh, is a heavier material. So I tend to think it will hold heat in a little bit better than my Discovery tent, which I mean, it was not an expensive tent. But uh, I'm thinking with the buddy heater in there, now remember it is a vented tent at the top. Um, and plus it's got, you know, Buku's windows. I can vent it all over the place. So I'm not worried about CO2 poisoning once again with the buddy heater in the tent. And normally the way I would do it, unless it's stupid cold out, I would not run it all night anyway. I would run it when I first go in the tent to hang out uh, possibly watch a movie on the iPad, whatever. Um, and then when I get up in the morning to get ready, then I would probably run it again to warm up the tent. Um, so I'm interested in seeing how the buddy heater works inside that tent. Like I said, it's a much thicker material, much denser material. I, I would tend to think it would hold the heat in a little bit better. So that, you know, that's into itself. Also, I'm going to be doing a cooking video while I'm there because I got something I want to cook up. And I figured, shoot, why not do a video on it? 
Um, but we'll be testing the lava uh, box and of course all the new kitchenware that I've got in the kitchen box. So we're going to put all the stuff to work this weekend and see what, see if I made a mistake anywhere. I don't think so. I think uh, all the choices I've made over the winter are going to pay off. Feels good to get my first camping trip coming under my belt for 2023. We'll do a lot more of it this year. I'm going to have to go back and look and see how many camping trips I did last year. I think I did four, maybe five. I'd like to I'd like to really increase that this year. Do a lot more camping and uh, that kind of thing, exploring while I camp, or camping, exploring and then camping overnight and then explore a little more, camping another night, you know, we'll see how it goes. Overlanding is what it's called too. Depends on what you want to call it. So. That's it for this one. Nothing really big. Just uh, I'm ready to get out there and camp out. Um, I don't know. May end up doing another camp out in March uh, before it's over with. We'll see. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the new viewers. And if you're not subscribed, please click that button and click that bell icon so you know when I've got another video coming. And uh, if you see Mid-10 Outdoors camping somewhere, come up and say, hey, I want one of those Mid-10 Outdoor stickers you got for, you can only get when you see me camping. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching. Be prepared. See you on the next one. Later.